Hello, hello, beautiful creatives. If you are the type of person that likes to experiment with inks and water brushes um, to do drawings and expressive art and what have you, this is really gonna be the video for you because I do all the experimentation to show you what works and what doesn't work so you don't have to waste money on product combinations that just don't work together. So I'm gonna talk to you about some Ecoline inks and some diamine or diamine, diamine, I think it's called inks and um, two different types of water brushes. I've got the Sakura Koi water brushes and the Pentel water brushes. And I'm going to show you out of these, which one works in which brush and which one doesn't work in which brush. And it's been a little bit of a frustrating um, journey to figure out how to, you know, maybe do some hacks to make things work, but I think I finally got things figured out. So I'm looking forward to sharing it with you because it's really good, valuable information. So if you enjoy the video and you find the information valuable, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you found this content helpful. Okay, guys, here's the video. Hey, beautiful creatives. If you remember a while back, I purchased these this set of Ecoline inks to use and these adorable little Sakura Koi brushes that um, I had learned about on Emma Carlyle's page. And um, they don't work together. <laughs> they are not a good match. What Emma has been using in hers are the diamine inks. Um, I think she said she's also used Dr. P.H. Martin's with some uh, good success. But apparently, I contacted her about it and asked her if she had heard it from anybody else. And apparently, other people on her Patreon were saying that with the Ecoline inks, these brushes are not working. So I was pretty sad about that because I bought the whole Ecoline set. But what they did, so I went on her Patreon chat and started asking questions. They said the Ecoline inks are working really well in these Pentel brushes. So I ordered some of these Pentel brushes for my Ecoline inks and I ordered um, just a set, one set um, of the Diamine inks off of Amazon. I'll put links for all of this below for these brushes because apparently this the diamine inks don't link in these so just to show you what's happening with the eco line i mean i have been loving these little brushes and i've been using them a lot with emma's patreon um sessions but what happens is well you can see it already probably it leaks out of here i mean you can see all the ink that is in this section, there shouldn't be any ink in that section there. And even on this one, and even when they're just sitting, I found I had them in this little jar and um, they were leaking into here. So I was just, I was using them. I was still using them because I was enjoying using them, but they were staining my hands like crazy. So then I had to start, yeah, there's ink all over here just from that little bit. Um, so they were staining my hands and I was thinking the ink probably isn't that great for me to be getting on my hands. So what I am doing today is I'm emptying out all of these and cleaning them out, squeezing water through the brushes and cleaning them out. And I'm going to fill those with the diamine inks that I got. And I'm filling these few, um, Pentel brushes that I got with the Ecoline inks that were in here. So I'll keep you posted on how this works for me as I experiment with it more, but um, these are such a great, I joined the Draw Brighton Patreon too, so I've been doing a lot of figure drawing, and these inks are just such a great way to color around your drawing really when you're doing really quick timed drawings. So I definitely want to try to find a way to make it work. But people on her Patreon were raving about these Pentel brush pens and that they don't leak and that they work with the eco line. So I will see, time will tell what happens with these in the eco line. And I'm about to fill some of these that I just cleaned out, these uh, Koi Sakura 
brushes, the small brushes with the diamine. So it's all, it's like an ongoing experiment, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. But all right, let's see what happens. I'm going to get back to it. So I have been mixing, remixing up the colors that I had in these and I'm down to my last empty one and I'm going to mix up a green color. So I'm going to take the Ecoline green and put a couple of dropperfuls of that in and then I think I will put some of the um, orange in. Oh, that might have been too much. Let's see what that looks like. To tell if I change the color. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like that color. Wow. Oh, I do like that color, but I wanted more of a green. So I'm going to put another dropper or two of green in there. This could end up becoming an addiction of sorts because... I love that color and you could end up wanting to mix so many custom colors that you could end up having to buy tons of these. So we'll see, but let's mix this one up. Ooh, yes, love it, love it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a really pretty green, okay. I am gonna wanna get a couple more of these though to mix a couple of different greens, but that is a lovely green. Okay, so here goes. This is going to be my first test. Let me close these inks before I spill them all over the place. These are pretty stable bottles, though. I like these, these Ecoline bottles. These concern me. I wouldn't want to leave these open because I have a feeling I would tip them over. But fingers crossed that this doesn't leak, guys. Let's see. Just give it a... Light squeeze to get some down into the barrel. There we go, coming down into the brush. Wow, it doesn't leak. I mean, these, you could tell right away with these Sakura ones, they just leaked like right away down into this part where it screws together. So these look, this looks pretty darn good, wow. Oh, that's good, because I was hoping I wasn't going to buy more stuff and have it not work. This sepia and um, green go so nice together. Wow, I actually put so much on there, though. I don't want it to bleed through. Okay, so these are working. These are definitely, definitely working. Cool. And I watered down my blue. What does my blue look like? I put a lot of water in this one. This is the flat brush. Wow, it's still really intense. I put a lot of water in that because I wanted a less intense blue for skies. That's still pretty intense. And this one... This was, there's, this was a set that I bought, and this is the small, which is really small, this brush. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't use this. That's why I put the red in there, because I thought when doing like lips and flesh colors and stuff on people, um, it would be fine to have a super small tip like that, but that's a very small tip. And then I think this set came with that flat, which I thought the big flat would be nice for skies. And then this is their large. And then unfortunately, I thought I ordered the single ones in the large, but I ordered them in the medium. So they're a little small for my taste. I'll see how it goes. I mean, I was really disappointed, but I didn't feel like sending them back because it was really my fault wasn't really Amazon's fault. You can still get a pretty wide stroke with these though. And the nice thing is because they are the medium, you can definitely get a really thin line. So these might actually be more versatile. What is the, let me see what the wide one looks like. 
This is the wide. The, yeah, this is the large. Yeah, I like that large a lot. And you still, yeah, you still can. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not as, yeah, you still can get a pretty good, pretty small line. Not as small, obviously, as that one, but so far this is working because even with that little bit of use on the other ones, they were leaking and there's absolutely no sign of any of the Ecoline dye coming out of those. So the next part of my, um, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? <laughs> The next part of my experiment is going to be to fill these with these. And the colors that I got in the set, they have all kinds of sets of the Diamine ink on um, Amazon. So I don't remember the name of the exact set I got, but the colors that I got were Amber, Oxford Blue, Imperial Purple, Oxblood, Aurora Borealis, and Meadow. So they might not exactly be the colors that I would have picked out if I was buying them singly, but the set was much more economical to buy than buying them singly. So um, since this is just a test, I figured I would start out that way. Somebody on Emma Carlyle's Patreon did tell me that you can get these from... I, goulette pens and jet pens in the U.S., and you can get them in sample sizes, so really inexpensive sample sizes. I don't know what the how much what the quantity is in the sample sizes, but it would be a great way to try out new colors before you committed to buying a bottle. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna fill up some of the other ones, and I'll let you know how it goes. Since I don't know how dark these are, um, inks are gonna be, and I don't know if I want to water them down. Oh, they're very dark. I think I might just fill the pens part way so that I can add water to them. So let's see. All right, so let's see how, how it goes with this one. There's gonna be some, oh, it's leaking. Oh, no, the only reason I bought these inks was, oh, no, I mean, it leaked a lot. Shoot, maybe these are defective pens. You know, maybe the ones from Amazon that everybody is having problems with are defective, and the ones that people are buying in the UK are not. I mean, you do need it to come into here into this part. It's leaking. I like that color a lot watered down. It's gonna have to be something I play around with because I'm gonna try taking this off and drying this completely off. These ink pages would be really fun to do some mixed media on with uh, black ink afterwards. I think I'm going to do that. That looks like it would be really fun. Okay, since I'm down to my last Pentel brush and my last uh, Sakura brush, I want to um, see what colors I already have made up in each of the different inks. So I've labeled two page. I realized when I looked at this, when I wrote the name down, I've been calling it Diamine. It looks like it might be Diamine, D-I-A-M-I-N-E. So I'm not sure. I think that's probably how you pronounce it. I will probably continue to mispronounce it because that's what I've been calling it, Diamine, but it's Diamine, I think. Um, okay, so I'll, I'm gonna put my Ecoline watercolors on this side. I like drawing with this color a lot. I've been doing a lot. I should actually show you some of what I've been doing with these inks. Okay, so that's the Eco Line ones. And these are now the Dia Mine. Dia Mine.
Okay, so we'll see because I do have another trick up my sleeve. If these do still end up leaking, let me go grab something. Someone named Jane or June texted me um, about a comment I left on Emma Carlisle's Patreon and it kind of creeped me out. I get so much spam. You can't even imagine how much spam YouTube creator people get and it's really tricky. A lot of it is they really trick you into you know, opening their messages or whatever. Um, so I didn't open it. It had a link inside of it. So I didn't open it for quite a while. And then I finally, it said that there was a YouTube video that I should watch. That's why I got a little suspicious. But I finally did uh, copy the link and then put it in my browser. And I mean, it was still risky. I was still taking a chance, but it ended up being real. It was a real link. So thank you, Jane or June or whoever you are for this information. She, the video that she shared with me, the person was using silicone grease. So if your brush pens are leaking, she said to coat, you know, before you screw them together, to coat this section with silicone grease and then screw them back on. It doesn't glue them, it's just grease. It's not like a silicone glue um, or not like a caulking. So uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I did purchase a small container of it. And um, yeah, I'll see if I do continue to have problems. I have this on hand so I can use it. But anyways, this is the colors that I have come up with. And I have two more brush pens so I can do one more mix of some Ecoline inks and one more mix of the diamine inks and I just have to figure out what I might want to do with that oh I know a gray yeah okay I would love a gray for drawing so I'm going to do the eco line one in gray yeah Let's do that. That would be great for drawing. And then hopefully this video is not getting too long. I may have to edit it way down. And um, I'm doing this right, right? Yeah, these are the eco line ones. This is going to get confusing. These are great for drawing with. Especially the timed um, Brighton Drawing on Patreon, uh, Draw Brighton, Patreon, and um, Emma's timed drawings. These make you stay really loose. So this is gray. You know what I think I'm gonna have to do with these darker colors? I think I'm gonna have to put like a little swatchy thing on here because these are blue. That's another reason I, I really didn't want to get these because they're not clear. They're blue, but you can, nah, I don't know. I can pretty much see what the colors are, I think. The one I might get confused is the brown and the gray, but I don't know. I think I'll do all right. So let's see. That's the last eco line one. And that is gray. Oh, I didn't label that one. Hmm. It's not quite as dark as I was thinking, but then on the other hand, there are times where I would like to have a light gray one. And I do have a black in the Pentel brush. So I think I'm gonna leave this as a light gray for now because I think it would be useful. Okay, so one more. I can do one more mix in the diamine inks and I gotta think for a minute about what I might do. Okay so after sitting with it for a while I was looking at the different colors that I had and as much as I would have loved to have mixed a different green well I had three greens so that's what made me decide in the end I may end up adding a little more blue to this green to darken it a little so there's a larger separation but what I noticed that I was really missing was orange. So, and, and I actually did think of mixing the two of these inks to come up with a color, but because this is an experiment on 
the pens leaking to see if this works. I don't wanna throw in another element. That's something I might experiment with in the future, but for now I wanna keep them totally separate. You know, these brushes are gonna be the Diamine and um, these brushes, Pentel brushes are gonna be the Ecoline. So the color that I really realized I was missing was an orange. So I mixed the Ox Blood with the amber to get an orange, sort of a muted, muted orange, but yep. All right, so that's my color mixes. And um, it's gonna be really fun to see how this plays out in um, my, you know, Emma's drawing Patreon sessions. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It looks like a nice mix of colors. It really does. Kind of pleased with it. I don't see anything that's glaringly missing. So um, that's, that's what I'm gonna leave it at. What I think I'll do is show you some of what I have been doing. Uh, and um, with the drawing sessions, and I'm trying to think, I know I have them in a few different sketchbooks, and I'm trying to think of which sketchbooks I have them in. So, this one is um, an ink tense, one of the ink tense gray pencils. This is from Draw Brighton. This is, model is Frankie. She calls herself Floor Length Frankie on, um, Instagram because her hair literally is so long it drags on the floor. Um, this was Ink Tense pencil again, and it's Frankie's hair. She's uh, washing her hair. Let's see. I know there's some ink ones in here somewhere. Okay, this was Frankie in the bath for Draw Brighton. So this was... Um, this was all inks except for this darker pencil that I added in the very end was ink tense. But the rest of this was the, the sepia color, the blue for the water and the green for the plant was all my little Ecoline ink pens. This was Ecoline ink pens. This was before I had the Diamine inks. This was, um, uh, Trixie, that was Emma's Patreon. Oh yes, it was, it was her last drawing session with uh, Trixie. I'm sorry guys, my brain is still not quite right from all the stress of losing Nico and the cottage and everything else that's been going on. So this was all all the ink pens, the Eagle Line ink pens, and I did add some of my Pentel ink brush. I keep calling these ink pens. I suppose I should call them ink brushes, but and this was this one of them. This was the Pentel ink brush. This was drawing from film, but it was moving, moving film. She was moving, which was really hard to capture. I found it extremely challenging to do the drawing. So what I finally did with this one was I stopped the video and drew her because I was totally stressed out. That was when Nico was really failing and I just didn't need the stress of the, the drawing from motion. This was a combination of my Ecoline ink brush brush pens, whatever, Ecoline brushes, I guess, and um, uh, what do you call it, ink tents pencil. And this was uh, the model, this was Draw Brighton, and this, the model was Ivory. And this was 15 minutes we had to do. Actually, the, the session was for 30 minutes, but I stopped at 15 minutes because I just felt like I had accomplished all that I wanted to accomplish. What else with the inks? This was the inks. This was my sweet boy. And if you follow me on, oh, on Instagram or Facebook, you saw that I made this into a poster that said, I will miss you forever. Uh, I took it into Canva and, and added words to it. And it said, I will miss you forever. Goodbye, sweet boy. Um, yeah. So that was the brush pens. Um, what else was brush pens? This was partially brush pen and partially Neo Color too. Another draw Brighton. That was a, a sepia pencil. 
I'm going to do a sketchbook tour with this for my patrons soon. I'm almost finished with this. I actually have three sketchbooks, the two that are done and one, this one that's almost done. I'm going to do a Patreon tour soon. But this was um, one of Emma's patron drawing sessions. And this was the Ecoline Ink. This was the Ecoline Ink, another one of Emma's drawing sessions. It was from Motion. These guys were all swimming around. Uh, this was from Motion. It was a, somebody's uh, live cam of, of wildlife, and the rabbit was hopping around. And this was the ink pens. So you see what I mean? They're really versatile for um, these drawing sessions. This was the ink pens really expressive. This was the ink pens. This was with the ink pens. I'm just loving them. I'm really loving them. Ink brushes. I keep calling them pens. I'm going to get you guys confused, but it was, this is all the ink brushes. This was too, really fun. And then I took a fountain pen and with the fountain pen did some drawing over a really loose painting. So that gives you an idea anyways of what I've been doing with these with these ink brushes. There's they're just really versatile. So that's fun. But that gives you an idea of how much fun these are to do with quick drawing sessions, timed drawing sessions or really expressive painting sessions. Um I have really enjoyed working with these, and I'll keep you guys posted of how things go. Hey guys, I'm down in my art nest tonight, fooling around with these brushes, and they are still leaking like crazy with the diamine ink in them. I'm feeling so frustrated with this whole thing. So the next thing that I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try putting um, the silicone in here and I almost don't even feel like trying that because this is just getting so frustrating. The Pentel brushes are working fabulous. They're not leaking at all. So if I can't get the silicone to work in these tomorrow, um, I don't know if I've waited too long to return them, but I think I certainly should um, contact the company and just say, hey, what the heck, you know, these brushes are not working right at all. I, so this is, on another note, this is that Oxblood, and I actually really liked, I mean, it's the one that I added the purple and the amber to, but I actually really liked it for drawing. I think it's an, a really cool color for drawing with, but yeah, these are leaking like crazy, so bummer, bummer, bummer. I'm really getting fed up with them, and um, like I said, I don't know if the if I've waited too long for the window for returning them or not, because I certainly would have rather spent the money on the Pentel brushes that aren't leaking. But okay, I'll continue to update you guys as I try to figure this out. Okay, so it is the next morning. And as I showed you, I fooled around with both sets of these brushes last night. This video is actually getting so ridiculously long at this point, I'm going to have to do some really major heavy editing. But what I did this morning was I went on to Emma Carlyle's Patreon and I watched, I watched these brushes on her desk and she is not getting, I can see that she is not getting this leakage down into here. So for what it's worth, I did contact Sakura um, I, you know, sent out a contact form off of their website. I have no idea if it'll do any good. You know, again, these Pentel brushes are not leaking into this area where they screw together. And these, even though I purchased the diamine inks, are linking really badly. So financially, I am into this way more than I wish I was. I wish I had not bought, purchased the two sets of ink. I wish what I had done was sent these, I'm past the window of being able to send these back, which is such a bummer because it's only like by a week or something that I missed the deadline for sending these back. And um, if I had just purchased more of these, 
I could have used them with my eco line inks and not had to buy more inks. But so this is a really frustrating lesson and I hope it's going to be beneficial to you guys because I'm kind of learning on the wing here. But um, my background is kind of kind of jazzy here. Let me see. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay, I just want to put a piece of paper down so you could see a little better what I'm doing here. Um, what I'm going to try to do. So these are fine. I don't need to do anything to these. What With these, my last ditch effort is going to be to clean each one off. And... Put silicone on them. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is put the silicone on here. I need to dry this out. Let me get a Q-tip. Try to dry this part out. Really try to get it cleaned out so that the silicone works. Or can form a good seal, you know? I'm so frustrated with these stupid little brushes. Okay, let's see. This is pretty dried off. Yep. All right, let's try this silicone. I don't know how much to put on. Probably put way too much on. Just rub it around there. And put this top on. And maybe I'll even, for what it's worth, maybe I'll even just give it a minute to sort of set up there. See what happens. Um, let me try to do this brown one. I mean, these these are just leaking so badly. It's blowing my mind. And I did read the, the comments on Amazon, and there are people who are having them leak. And now I know, I don't know where Emma purchased hers. I probably should have asked her that. All right, so I'm going to put the silicone on this and then wipe it around. My husband just went out to mow the lawn, so I hope that's not going to be too noisy. Okay, so I think I'm only going to do two at this point because I'm just, like I said, I'm so frustrated with these brushes. So I'll do those two, let them sit for a minute, and then if it works, I'll do the rest of them and problem solved. I mean, the silicone is not expensive. Might just, I don't know how much of a maintenance issue it'll be that, you know, you have to go in and maintain them, but let's let those sit for a few minutes and then see what happens. Okay, I've let these sit for a little bit. You know, it's a total guessing game on whether I have enough, um, enough of the silicone in there or not. We'll see what happens. Try to screw it around a little bit and, um, Let's see. I'm gonna probably have to use these a little bit because, um, you know, yesterday when I first filled them, I told you I thought everything was good with them. And then when I used them in the evening, they were leaking badly. So it's probably gonna take more than this one little test to be able to tell, but. So far, they're not leaking. So I'll fool around with them a little more and then um, I'll let you know what happens with them. So while I was doing it, I decided to go ahead and do them all. This is my last ditch effort at making them 
work properly and I thought um, I'll just give them a go and see what happens. And um, if this doesn't work, I, I am gonna give up on these. Okay, so as of now, with the silicone, they are not leaking. They're staying okay. Um, if anything changes by the time I finish editing this video, I'll give you an update. Who knows? Who knows? They may just be having a fit issue with them right now because there's a few people having problems. But like I said, when I watched Emma's Patreon today, I really looked at the br her brushes. They were sitting on her desk and there was no um, ink down in this section. Hers were very clean. So there is a difference between them, but okay. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. And like I said, I'll update you if anything changes. Okay, guys, this video actually ended up being like an hour, over an hour and a half long. I had to cut out a lot of stuff in this video. So what I'm gonna to try to do is refilm very quickly some of the points that I made, but that were more drawn out and probably should have been in a video of their own. The issue with these brushes ended up being so much more complicated than I thought it would when I started this video, because when I started this video, what I thought from what I was told was that the Ecoline inks didn't work in these brushes, but that the Diamine inks would, they don't. The brushes that I got, I realized that there are some Sakura brushes out there, like the ones that Emma have that seem to be working. The only way that I could get these brushes to work was to put the silicone that I showed you earlier, and all of this will be linked below. Putting the silicone in this screw part has kept the ink from leaking. And you could clearly see in the earlier part of the video that this section here where it screws together was filled with ink before I filled this section with the um, silicone gel. So there clearly is something wrong with these pens. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what inks you, you want to use in these and what inks you want to avoid. But first, I think I'm going to explain to you what happened with Sakura. I contacted Sakura and sent them pictures where you could clearly see these areas on all eight pens filling up with the ink. And they wrote me back very promptly that they could see from the pictures there was something wrong with the pens. They weren't supposed to leak into that area. They asked me to send my address and they were going to send me replacement pens. So I waited quite a while because I didn't want to finish this video up until I got their replacement pens to give them a fair opportunity to, you know, in case those the pens, the water brushes, I keep calling these pens, sorry, but the water brushes that came directly from Sakura actually worked better than the ones that I had gotten on Amazon. Um, so I was looking forward to that. I wanted to give them a fair chance to, you know, see if those pens were going to work. So I was waiting for the pens to arrive so I could sort of wrap up this, or the brushes to arrive so I could sort of wrap up this video about a week after they asked for my address and the pictures and said that they were going to send me the um, the replacement brushes, I got this really long, bizarre email from them filled with yellow highlights saying that they were um, basically blaming me for the pens not working. They were saying that it was user error and that they had had their, now I hadn't sent any pens back to them, brushes back to them. So they were saying that they had taken some pens and they had put Ecoline inks in them and they had tested them and um, they didn't leak. Well, I had clearly told them that I knew some of the pens didn't leak. The ones that I had, I showed them in the photos and they agreed in the original email that they were leaking. Um, so it was bizarre. So what they said was, I had to pay on my own to return these. 
and they were going to test them and they couldn't guarantee that they would send me any replacements. And this is all like highlighted, like segments of the email are highlighted in bright yellow. I asked them to read the reviews on um, Amazon. I told them, read the reviews on Amazon and see that some people, yes, are not having it leak, but that many people are having it leak. Anyways, and I know from Emma's Patreon that some people are having trouble with them and some are not. So they actually are not going to do anything unless I pay to return these. Um, so that's the end of the, um, that's the end of these. They uh, they do seem to be holding up with the silicone. I feel like that's going to be a bit of a pain to maintain because every time I change them, I'm going to have to make sure there's enough silicone on there. Really, really, really disappointed with these brushes, but on Emma's, I'm grateful to Emma's Patreon. You know, there's so much good information in the comments on Emma Carlisle's Patreon videos that she posts, and then she tends to share what she learns from her viewers in her videos. So you can learn a lot from Emma's Patreon, and her viewers recommended these brushes. They do not leak a bit they are. They have a great um, density to this plastic that is super easy to squeeze ink out, but it's dense enough that it's not. You don't over squeeze the ink out. They don't leak a bit in here. Um, so I think I'm going to probably, if these end up being a project to maintain the um, silicone in them, I did buy some more of the Pentel markers and I'm just going to switch over to doing only the Pentel markers so that you know I'm really I feel terrible if you watched my first video where I ordered these and was recommending them I just was going by what I had learned and um, what I had seen in the ones that were working for some people I feel really bad about that. I try to be really thorough in my investigation of something. The problem is there is a problem with some of these. The company's not admitting it. So I don't know what you can do about that. It's kind of like if, if you get some, they may work. And if you get some, they may not work. I don't think it's worth taking a chance on. And I do hope that if you ordered them from seeing them in my prior video that you got some that work. These are fabulous. I have never heard a problem. People have been recommending these Pentel water brushes forever. They work with both kinds of ink. Um, the, uh, so that brings me to another point that I had to cut out a big section I did on inks. Don't use, you know, any ink that you can use in a piston pump fountain pen, which this is. This is the kind of fountain pen that doesn't use cartridges. This is the kind that you screw to draw ink up into the pen. And I love this pen. But you have to be very careful with the inks that you use in these pens. You can't use the same kind of ink that you use in technical pens, in refillable technical pens. They have pigments, pigment chunks in them. So don't use acrylic ink in your water brushes or your fountain pens for that matter. You don't want to use acrylic inks. Um, you don't want to use an India ink or Indian ink because um, it'll say right on here that you can use them with technical pens but do not use in fountain pens. So these also have like a, a larger pigment in them that can block your brushes and your pens. Um, Sumi ink, you, you can find mixed things about Sumi ink online when it comes to using them in water brushes. The general recommendation is not to use them. The carbon pigments in it are too large. And if you don't use it frequently enough, um, it can block your, your water pen and ruin, ruin your water brush. These are safe inks to use. The Ecoline inks are totally safe to use in your water brushes and the diamine inks are totally safe to use in your water brushes um noodlers ink any ink that says right on it that it's made for fountain pens is safe for your water brushes um so this is a water-based ink and this is the 
um, Noodler's Bulletproof ink. So this is actually waterproof. With a lot of fountain pen inks, you have to check and be sure that it's waterproof if you want to paint over it. So be sure to check that. But Noodler's ink, Diamine ink, Ecoline ink, Emma Carlisle has been using P.H. Martin's um, watercolor, Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolor in her water brushes with really good luck. Um, a, the eco line is, is a watercolor. They call it a, a liquid watercolor. It's actually a dye, I believe. So yeah, it, that's important to not use these and um, to use ones that are okay to use in fountain pens so that you don't clog up your brushes. So I have been working a lot in my art nest lately. And this is my whole package of what I have in my art nest. These are some pencils. I'm actually going to do a video on what I have in my art nest for my Patreon. So that's coming up. But this is all I have. Very compact. I have everything that I need. And every day that I haven't been feeling well um, recently, I have been working in my art nest with just these few things. And these water brushes, I, I am really being blessed by these for working loosely in my um, art nest. I have been really depressed. I haven't been feeling well. And um, this has just been such a blessing to me to have such a loose, easy, you know, I don't need to have a jug of water there. I, what I do is I, if I want to dilute these down, I keep an empty water brush next to me. Um, these have been so good for me. I have been extremely depressed since my recent diagnosis and losing Nico and progress on the cottage kind of being halted because we haven't sold a piece of land yet. It, it's a lot. There's a lot of grief in our life right now sitting down with these brushes and just doing super loose. And then this is it. Some nights, I know I've talked to you guys about this. That's it. That's all I can do. This was a Neo Color crayon. And I was so depressed that night. All I could do was this and then write depression, depression, depression. And I know I talk to you guys about that a lot, that it, you don't have to do fancy paintings. Just show up. Look at this, this kind of mess. I just took my brush pens out and did whatever. I had no goal of creating anything, just sort of put scribbles on the paper and then kind of made it look like a forest. Um, yeah, look at these faces. Just taking out the brushes to get to get creative, to get my creative chemistry going in my body to try to help heal the depression a little bit instead of just sitting there. So these are the ink pens. I mean, they're incredibly versatile. This one I did last night, but um, yeah, I absolutely love these water brushes with the ink, ink in them. And I'm sorry that I keep calling them ink pens. I don't know, I have a brain glitch about that. I keep, keep saying that. I actually um, have been spending so much time in a state of really pretty intense, scary depression lately that I'm thinking of doing a video on creating while depressed and really truly just letting go of results and um, just numbly creating in your sketchbooks, you know, not worrying about what comes up. So anyways, that's sort of a quick summary of what I had to cut out of this video. Be careful of the inks that you use, Pentel brushes, seem very bulletproof to me. And from what I'm hearing from a lot of others on Emma's Patreon, they're finding them bulletproof. A lot of her viewers are having trouble with um, these Sakura. So Pentel wins by a long shot. I do like the Diamine inks. I love the Noodler's ink in my fountain pen. Um, and the Eco Line inks, I've been able to, this, this is their color mixing set. I'll link all of this below. I have been able to mix all kinds of great colors. I love the way these are packaged and stacking. I just think, I think these Eco Line inks are great. So I've been having a lot of fun with those. Um, probably didn't need to buy these, you know, 
and uh, wish I hadn't bought these, but um, you know, it is what it is. So I got to wrap this up because this video is going to get long again, but I hope that this information was helpful. Um, yeah, it was a lot of experimenting. This video sort of got sidetracked, like I said, because I thought one thing was going to happen. I thought that I was going to buy the diamine ink, diamine, diamine inks, and I was going to put them in these pens and it was going to be problem solved. So that I had to do a lot more investigative work and make sure that I was telling you guys the right thing. And, um, this is how it ended up. Thank you for all of your support and your beautiful, wonderful comments um, when Nico was sick and after we put Nico down. Your support really meant a lot to us and it really carried us through, through that first week reading your comments. And um, I have a viewer that sent me a gift. A viewer actually sent me this gorgeous bee paper uh, sketchbook that I absolutely love bee paper. And she sent this gift to me um, she said, Linda, I'm sorry to hear about your little Nico sending much love to you and Dawn. And she put a little heart and it's from Angela K. And I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Angela, this came yesterday. Well, by the time you see this, it'll have been a few days, but, um, this meant so much to me. This package came in the mail and I hadn't ordered anything. And, um, Dawn handed it to me and I said, I didn't order anything. And he said, I bet it's a gift. And I opened it up and this little, the little gift note fell out. And I was, it just, I can't tell you how much it touched my heart. So from the bottom, and, and it blessed Dawn too, seeing me receive a gift from one of my viewers, um, to sort of help our grief over Nico, you know, a compassionate gift. It just blessed both of our hearts. So Angela, really and truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. That was such a kind thing for you to do. And I will enjoy this sketchbook very much. So thank you and God bless you. If you're still watching, type INKS, I-N-K-S, in the um, comments below so that I know you're still watching. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, guys. Um, I hope you found it useful. And um, there may be a depression video in your coming up in your future. There's also a couple of full length, real time pastel painting videos that I, I have uploaded one to my Patreon and I'm uploading the second one next week. I think I haven't finished editing it. So if you're into oil pastels, check that out on Patreon. Okay, guys, have a great week. Keep creating and I will talk to you next week. Bye.